morning guys pops here got my coffee and we're in the ebay shop getting ready to, to jump in and start pulling and packing orders um we've got a few things going on since our last video and we'll get to talking about those one of the first things is uh, we've been buried by about a foot of snow here so we've got the challenges of having a lot of snow i'll throw a little video of walking the shop this morning up here for you um We've got most of it scooped away, but it is a little difficult to get around this morning, so we're just getting a little bit of a late start. And the second thing we'd like to bring up is with all that snow on the ground and sourcing being a challenge to begin with, um, this just makes it a little more difficult. And we've come up with a, a unique issue for us in here because we've got two people working. Matter of fact, I'll just grab the camera, we'll go show you. All right, so over here is our workstation. And as you can see, we've got just the one computer over here. And with two of us working in here, uh, pulling orders, packing, listing, it gets very difficult because we only have the one computer. So we're constantly kind of stepping on each other's toes and getting each other's way. So we've decided we actually need to get a second computer in here. However, we decided we wanted to get a little MacBook Pro, one of the new ones, and they're not cheap, but we are. So. Collectively, we decided we we're going to spend about a hundred bucks on that new computer and as, as many of you probably know, they cost probably just north of two grand. We got to figure out how to do that. So we'll talk more about how we're going to do that later on in this video. But first, let's go ahead and get some items pulled so we can start packing and try and get things to the post office on time today. Our first order is going to be some Department 56. We got Nanny and Preschoolers and Child's Play, I believe. Yep, here's Child's Play and Nanny and Preschoolers. It looks like the Child's Play one we actually sold for $5. No, Child's Play we actually sold for $14.49 plus shipping. The Nanny and Preschoolers one we sold for $5 plus shipping. And I'll put those up here for you so you can kind of see what they look like. Next piece is a little piece of train track. Some of the curved railing for the train track, or curved tracks rather. Cornerstone, cobblestone corners. Reading's difficult for me sometimes, but here we are. We got $5.99 plus shipping on that. We had about 65 cents in it. We've got a bag of street lamps. Okay, the bag of street lamps, I'll put a picture up. I don't want to take them out of the bag here, but... That bag of street lamps actually sold for $10.99 plus shipping. And we've got our very last, okay, so last one of these. That one sells for $8.49 on our offer this time. We got those for a buck a piece at a bin store, and we're completely out of those now. So that was a great buy for us. And looks like we've got a Danbury Mint ornament. Okay, so the 2015 Danbury Mint ornament I'll put up here on the screen. Uh, that one sold for $55 plus shipping, and we had all of $6 in it. So we did really well on those. We got... I think one ornament and then our big piece. Left. Okay, and then we have a couple decanters. Oh, let's just grab them. I know they're over here. With those decanters, we had $20 in the pair of them. We bought them at a garage sale. I think it was one of the early garage sales we went to. So we've got about 20 bucks in and we sold the pair for $65 plus shipping on them. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut in here for a second and talk about the subject for today. And that's how we plan to, to fund that new laptop purchase in the first place with things drying up around here, snow hitting the ground. Garage sales getting tough to find or actually they're impossible to find. There just aren't any here anymore, at least for the winter. And I guess the way we plan to do that is by literally selling garbage. By that, I mean finding things that are, are literally broken or garbage to other people that they're selling for nothing or giving away. And we're going to spend a little bit of extra time. We're going to trade some sweat equity for profit. And we're going to part them out and sell the pieces and dispose of what's left. Now, that does come with a few challenges, as you might imagine. One, you are putting some more work in. You need a little bit of space and the right tools to tear things apart. And at least some moderate amount of mechanical ability. We do have enough of all of that, including space. So we're fine there. The second thing that's going to run into is you have to dispose of the pieces that won't sell. You don't necessarily want to go into parting out cars if you don't have anywhere to get rid of a car body that won't sell or something of that size. Same way with washing machines and dryers. That could be a very lucrative thing to part out. A lot of the control boards, buttons, knobs, pieces for inside the machine actually sell really well, but you're left over with a really big carcass at the end to get rid of, and you need a way to get rid of that. There is a metal scrap place not far from us in town. Still, you're gonna have to load all that stuff up on a trailer. It's heavy, it's bulky to move. We may dabble in that a little bit, but for right now, we're gonna try and stick to smaller things that we can fit the leftovers into the dumpster we have here. And we do have I guess I could try to show you here. I'm not sure if it'll show up on the camera. It may just overexpose with the light. Um, 
But right over there, we do have a dumpster. If we could fit the stuff in that dumpster, they're not real picky about what we put in there. So as long as it isn't something hazardous material-wise or anything like that, they're pretty, they're pretty good about just taking what we put in the dumpster as long as it's not some giant washing machine or the rear end of a car or something crazy like that. So a couple of things we've already done with the $100 we plan to spend on our new laptop is purchased a broken vacuum cleaner. It's actually like a 18 volt cordless dirt dust devil that we're hoping to get picked up today if that sale goes through and i think we got it for like five bucks one of the big backpack like leaf blowers we picked one of those up for 20 bucks because they went to pull started and the rope broke other than that it worked it was fine all the parts are good looking at that on ebay seeing what's on there if the parts sell or not it looks like they could be close to two three hundred dollars worth of parts in that thing if you could spend the time to break it down and then get rid of what's left. So that's one of the ways we do it. Probably notice we've also sold pieces and parts of like sunbeam, sunbeam mixers. Yeah. And those, those aren't terrible. I mean, we're going to end up making probably $60, $70 in profit on a $10 blender that, or mixer that we, that we tore down. Matter of fact, we have another one. I'll grab it. So that right there is actually another it's the exact same mixer that we broke down already. It was just a different color. This is the slightly more expensive stainless steel one. We're going to break that one down too. And I think when we're done with that, it's probably going to be in that same range. We're probably going to be making $50, $60 on the parts of that when we could probably sell that as it is on eBay. Although I think this one actually is broken on one piece. But I think we could probably sell that on eBay if we wanted to wait for the sale for a year because they are terribly slow sellers for $25 to $40. Bucks. So we're actually going to make quite a bit more money parting it out. We just got to take the time to do it. Now, these aren't terribly difficult to tear apart, but inside of those things is some of the nastiest crap. Like it's it's years and probably decades of people blending cookies and dough and garbage food, and it all goes into these little vent holes. So they take a considerable amount of, a considerable amount of time to clean up because they are pretty nasty inside. But so far, it's been worth it, and the parts sell pretty quickly. And we're going to do that same type of thing with other broken appliances, broken things we can get our hands on and tear apart. But first, we will look up the models on eBay. We'll sort by buy it now and lowest plus shipping first. So we can, and generally that'll pull all the parts for that machine or whatever you're tearing down up at the top of your list. And we can go look and see what parts are actually selling off of them. Are they easy parts to tear off? Do they sell quick enough to bother with? Because remember, we've only got a hundred bucks to try and get a laptop and we don't want it to take three years to get the laptop so we're looking for fast sell-through parts that will cost us little or nothing because we're basically just grabbing people's garbage that they've broken that that's kind of the plan for right now so we'll keep you up to date on that and for now we've got a few things to pick up and a few things to tear apart so we'll go grab the rest of our orders so we can get packed up and out of here we've actually got a sale that we've sold for the second time now this little arrow brad nailer i believe what happened last time was the guy just basically rented the tool and you will have that happen from time to time if you're selling on ebay it's uh it's a tool that came with everything they needed to use it including the nails or the brads for it or staples for it they bought it used it requested a return we got it back so here it is for the second time around we've got five dollars in that thing and it's selling for forty dollars plus shipping and hopefully this time they keep it and don't send it back let's see we got a long range bluetooth adapter for a pc or i guess any computer Do that one that came from our our bin store buy we had about a, a buck in it and it sold for 15 plus shipping on that one got what says a big red barn that's this one here. Okay, so the Big Red Barn, we had $9 in that. It sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Okay, we have Chancery Corner. So it's it's this guy right here. Pretty cool looking piece. If I remember right, this is one we had to repair this little fence piece on. It was broken, but that's part of the listing. We put it in there. Um, and it's all fixed now. All right, we've got the Big Bus DVD. It's that guy there. Big Bus looks more like a train, I guess. Anyway, we sold that one. We had 45 cents in it, and I think we sold it for $7.50 plus shipping. The price is all scratched off here, but I'll put a thing up here so you can see what it was. And we have one more Department 56, it looks like, Holiday Travelers. All right, it looks like my sheet is missing the price for the Holiday Travelers. All right, so the Holiday Travelers were actually part of our bulk buy. $11.99 is what that sold for. And I'll put a picture up here so you can see kind of what they look like. And then we have a USB-C to HDMI cable to grab. It's that guy there. And once again, that was part of our, our bin store buy. So we had exactly a dollar in it. 
and we sold that for five dollars plus shipping and we've got another marine cable trolling motor jacket here i'm not sure how many of those we have left but we've still got some and they're selling well so we've absolutely killed it on these those are all bin store buys we have a buck in each one of them and that sold at full price of $25.50 plus shipping. And now we have one of our Wildlife Polaris Deer Hunter toys that we got from Runnings. A little bit of retail arbitrage. We got a couple different versions of them. This is the bow hunting version of it. So that's what it looks like. We bought those for 4 bucks a piece. And $19 plus shipping is what they're selling for. So we'll get that one packed up and out of here. And then we have one of our Llama Fanny Packs finally selling. All right, so we got the brown one here going out. All right, and that one sold for $10 plus shipping. It's brand new with the tag. 